hello welcome to my channel now today I've come out with the Canon M50 Mark II and I've kept the Canon 28mm macro lens on in the last video if you watched that I'll put a link up the top here if you haven't seen that one I took the lens out and just used it as a normal straightforward lens but it is a macro lens so what we're going to do is just get up close today. Now I'm not really, to be honest, a macro photographer, but we're going to see how this lens performs getting up close. Today I've come to a lake called Willen Lake. So the last video I was at Caldecott Lake. I've been to this Willen Lake many times on this channel and we're going to see what we can do getting up close. I'm just going to find a seat and show you the lens and one of the features of it that makes it quite good for macro photography. I'll catch up with you in a moment. So here we are, here's the Canon M50 Mark II with the Canon macro 28 millimeter. It's got image stabilization Let's just take the lens cap off for a second. To open the lens, you've got to click, move this little switch over and then twist. And that just extends the lens out a bit. Like this, you can just, like we did on the last video, just use it as a normal lens. Now, if you take this protective cover off here, just unscrew this. What that reveals is the fact that we've got two lights on this which means you can get up close this only opens up to 3.5 so it doesn't let a lot of light in and today's quite a dull day actually so we've not got a bright day so to switch these on you press this button here on the side and if I just press that helps if you turn the camera on Let's turn the camera on now press that button and you see one side has come on and if I press it again it dims that press it again you've got the other side press it again and it dims that one press it again it turns them off but if you hold it in for a bit longer they both come on and again you press it once and it dims it slightly press it again and it switches it off so if I now press it again they both come on so you have to hold it in for a bit longer so it switches over to just one of the lights and then you can go through the sequence like that so if you want both just hold it in a bit longer and they'll both come on that allows you to get close now the other thing that's got on it I'll just turn the light off while we're chatting is here when it clicks into place this gives you um, from fairly close up to infinity for focusing but if you don't want the motor to keep you know trying to focus at a distance you can come over to super macro so just again you have to move the switch come over to super macro and that will just stay try focusing within a smaller range which is much better if you are getting really really close now a lot of photographers that do uh, macro photography like to use manual we're going to see if, if this focus is in with autofocus to start with and then we might have to use manual but we'll just see how it goes I had a walk around Willen Lake taking various shots which I'll show you in a moment but what I found was that it was such a dull day the two lights at the front weren't really enough when I had a low ISO so I started with 100 moved it to 200 and requiring a fairly small aperture as well so that you got more in focus it was just so windy you just could not do that handheld and even with the tripod it was just far too windy and I was getting cold as well but anyway what I decided to do was have a go with the flash and one of the issues I found with the flash was that of course you're getting the shadow of the lens in the way 
So these shots that I'm going to show you now are shots where I've got the two lights on at the front of the lens and I've got the flash and I've had to try and get the angle correct so I don't get the shadow of the lens from the flash. I'm reasonably happy with the shots however I don't feel they're up to the standard of a person that really does lots of macro photography so this is something I think I personally need to practice it's not my type of photography to be perfectly honest uh, I do prefer street and a bit of landscape but nevertheless I've got the lens and it's good to try these things out so you'll see in this one that I got up close to a mushroom and here are the mushrooms or fungi I'm not sure I'm not really into the names of these things these were the fungi that I came across and took a few close-ups then I went close to leaves so I was quite happy with this one and then the ends of branches I mean it's coming up to winter end of autumn now and then I found some trees that have been cut so I thought this would make a quite nice shot and then I've got some bark that's just hanging on off a tree and I was happy with that and then I've got a little little knot inside the bark of a tree and then I've got even closer really get a feel of what that bark's like then I saw a few wild apples <laughs> laying on the floor and just got really close and then you know here's a winter type scene the leaves are just getting very dry and brown now for the end of autumn and then I saw this little bud growing from a log that was sitting on the floor so I thought that was a quite a nice shot anyway hopefully you've enjoyed the video and if you did please give me the thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell and I look forward to seeing you in the next video